Hey, y'all. I don't know why I said that that way. Um, Kyle here. It's uh, It's been a minute. Uh, this is probably the longest I've gone without doing an update. Um, and the reason for that being is there's not too much to update on you. Uh, yeah, it's been a busy month so far. Busy year, guys. Um, yeah, there's not too much on the recording front to report. It is coming along. Um, next week, we are planning on getting together to, the Pilgrims are planning on getting together to do the last bit of tracking. And hopefully that will be it, and then I just need to mix it. Um, but what we have been doing in the meantime is playing shows, uh, putting on shows. Uh, this month, Main Street Museum in White River Junction has collaborated with What Doth Life to put on a bunch of shows, and we've had two already. And they were a lot of fun. Pilgrims played the first one. Um, Chodas played like the second one. And, you know, there's always other great bands. Petrichor was really cool. Um, Dylan Patrick Ward. Uh, I'm naming them. Remember Johnny Gifford of the uh, Your Ska Band Are a Bunch of Frauds uh, fame? <laughs> because we didn't have enough horns. Anyway, he's, he's like as busy as the rest of us are as musicians. He's playing in a whole, whole bunch of bands. And in addition to doing that, he, um, he runs like the, I think the Brattleboro um, public access channel, or he works there or something. He used to do stuff at Sapa. He's a busy guy. He's a really great person though. I'm really glad that he's in the scene because he's friendly and kind and busy and doing a bunch to keep the scene alive. Um, anyway, uh, that was a bit of a tangent. The last of the Main Street Museum shows is this Saturday, so be sure to check that out. Uh, let me see who's playing here. Phantom Sons, Valerie Falls, Extemper, and Shy Husky, good friends of mine. Um, yeah, that's gonna start at 7.30, Main Street Museum in White River, so be sure to check that out. Um, what else? Oh, I also had to do, uh, so as you may or may not have heard, Smashing Pumpkins are looking for a new guitarist. So I had to jump on that opportunity and send in my audition tape, which um, here's, I'll play it a little bit, not the whole thing, because I don't want you to steal my idea and become their guitarist when it's obviously supposed to be me. So uh, check out this video. Hey, this is Kyle Alarcon, and this is my audition tape to be the new Smashing Pumpkins guitarist. Uh, I'm going to play a familiar song from their catalog from a, a 1995 release. Let's see if you uh, recognize it. Here we go. Yeah, I think I'm a shoe in personally. Uh, I had to do a lot of prep for that. That's why I haven't been able to do these updates because there's just so many like wrestling videos to watch and Joe Rogan interviews. You know, you gotta you gotta prepare if you're gonna be holding it down with Billy Corgan, William Corgan, as he liked to be known on his solo album. See, I know things about about him and the band. I think I'm gonna fit in great. Uh, let's see, what else? Other shows, um, if you can't make Saturday, let's see. McAsh is booking a lot. We have like half a dozen shows lined up already. Um, the next one being at Derby Line, Vermont, which is basically Canada. So I don't blame it if you can't make it to that one. But Magic User is also playing with us there. McAsh seems to play with Magic User a lot, which I'm not complaining because that band is great. And it's always fun to like book a show and then afterwards realize that you're playing with your friends. So that'll be fun. Uh, that's February 10th. And I don't remember what time it starts, but come on, let's be honest, you're not gonna make it anyway. Uh, we are playing the following week though at Main Street Museum, the 17th. Um, I'll get more information by then. I'll probably do another update by then. Um, and Pilgrims are booking stuff and we are 
starting to plan our annual fool's ball, which is always a blast. Um, we don't have a theme yet. We always do a theme. We've done like the, during COVID, we did like a red carpet thing. Um, that was like all remote. Um, we did like a drag show. Uh, we did like a 70s sleaze thing. We did a pajama party last year um, at Sawtooth. Um, my favorite one, I think, was the Fire Festival spoof. That was um, that was a lot of fun to do. Um, which I think that's coming back too, right? Wasn't that like a new story in the past year that they were going to try and do Fire Festival again? Uh, good luck to them if they do. If you have any theme suggestions for us, though, uh, leave them in comments or send us an email at info at what doth life or me at kyle at what doth life dot com. Um, and I think Carton is playing sometime soon. I have practice tonight with them, so I'll update you on that. Um, that's it, guys. I really don't have much. Uh, I will, however, um, play you a little bit of a clips that I've been taking during the Pilgrims recording process. Last update, I showed you what it was like to record at Guilford with Carton. And I don't know, I just thought since I don't have much to tell you guys, I should at least give you something entertaining to watch. Hopefully it's entertaining. Um, but yeah, how we're recording this Pilgrims album, which might also explain why it's taking so long because it's not in a studio and we have kind of been running around with my laptop and stuff and, and hoping that wherever recording is sound treated enough where I can work with it so far so good but you know um so yeah enjoy this sizzle reel of Pilgrim's recording and I will see you next time whenever that is all right oh and I hope to see you Saturday at the show Mainstream Museum 7 30. Bye. Busting over to pots, whatever discount cola love remains shackle stain. The heat keeps rising, it's eating the flame. Looking for a reaction, but the best outcome. <laughs>